I'm going to show you how to export CSV files or to export your to export to to export from Django your information from Django administration into into a, an Excel file or a CSV file most likely. So what we do, we get class. We get from we're going to use the question model to export from the question model. So we shall say class question. We're going to override the that the site admin. So we shall say admin site. Admin site, <coughs> excuse me. Admin site. And we shall it will inherit from admin. But model admin. So the model model will equal to question. The fields. The fields. Will equal to question and is good. So now the action we're going to put an action now. The action we're going to say export export to CSV. Not adding the export to CSV, we are going to now define the function. So we're going to say define export export as CSV. So it's going to take in self. Going to himself request and query set request and query set. So, what I'm going to do now is just, it's just going to be first of all, DOM, and then I'm going to say export export as CSV dot short description. I'm not sure what the short description means if you don't already know what it means. Short description will equal to export so if i come here sorry i've forgotten to register so let's now register the the, the model to the admin admin dot site dot register question question and then also the quest the overrided one so if we come here and then we refresh we can see that We have we, sorry here yeah, supposed, supposed to be actions not action so actions here yeah. let's refresh here you can see here that there's a there's a new arc supposed a new action is supposed to appear but uh, then after that we are going to now define our export csv so what we do so let's clear here first we have to first import something so what we do we go there up here and then we start we first have to import csv import csv then from Django that HTTP we have to import HTTP response. So what we then we come here and now define our export export Django. So what we do? We go to the meta meta which will equal to self dot model dot the uh, the global meta variable which will get for us all the all the all the metadata so now we're going to get the field names the field names and the field names uh, the field names will equal to uh, we're going to do a list compression so i want to say field field dot name for field for field for field Filled in, for filled in, method of fields, method of fields. Then we want to get the our response, which will equal to HTTP response, and the content type, the content type, content type will equal to text slash c. SV text slash CSV. So I want to say the, re the response content. The response the content disposition the content disposition. The content disposition. Content disposition. 
new photo so I'll say attachment attachment file name will be equal to uh, that dot csv csv dot format meta so what is going to do to get this meta fields then put it here then make it into a CSV file then put it into the file name then put it into the content disposition as a response so what we do now we have to we go we make a write, writer variable to go to CSV dot writer then we, we pass in the response to write it into a to write the response into a CSV file and after we go right up right up dot right draw right up dot right draw field names so then I want to say one object in the query set which is the selected selected the selected fields if they want to export into CSV we want to say the row will equal to right up Row will equal to writer. Uh, row will equal to writer. Dot write row. Write row. I mean, the get attribute. The get attribute. The get attribute will equal to the object. And then the field. So I want to explain. Let me first finish. Then I will explain what. If you don't understand the, the get attribute field, so for field in sorry for field for field in field names field in field names. So what <coughs> what this get, get attribute means is that the object is uh, that object which has been selected. Then it's going to check whether it has the field, whether it has the field property. If it has the field property, then it will it will put it in the list like that. So it's going to put all the field properties into the list. So if there was if you could add a default, if it perhaps there was no field property, maybe you could say if there's no field property, then put ha. Ah, as to replace if there is no field property but since here we know that each one has a field property so to put the field property there so now let's test and see that there are no errors um, um, export as csv is, is not defined let's say export as csv so it's supposed to be export to csv you save here so you can see the code question here let's say this and i can see it as export it has exported it to csv so that's how it works so let's make this look better so yeah you can say export as csv export as csv export as csv then here you can say export as csv csv Put in Excel. So if you save here, then see the changes properly. Export as CSV or Excel like that. So that's. <laughs>